Aquarius, welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 2nd of June. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot and my time to shine oracle. So starting off with your overall energy, we've got the seven of wands. Now this card asks you to be assertive. And here we are on the card. Look, our lovely angel is so close to success, but she's got to get past this closed gate and this flock of grumpy sheep. So she's going to have to be kind, but she's going to have to stand up for herself and be assertive. And that's just what you need to be mindful of this week. Your help or your hurdle up steps the king of pencils. Now, the kings are authority figures in the deck. And the king of pencils is very logical, very clear thinking, very clever, very often in a position where they are helping and motivating other people. Now, the king of pencils energy is represented very often by anybody who is um, very well educated in complex paperwork. So it might be a complex financial small print. It might be the complex small print of a new job contract. It might be a legal issue. The King of Pencils would be just the person that you would turn to for that professional advice. So here is this energy showing up in your help or hurdle part of the reading. What do you need to focus on? The Four of Cups says, looking at the bigger picture and not being so focused in one direction. Here, look, she's looking at these three little teacups and they're in the past. She's missing this fantastic opportunity right behind her. All she has to do is turn around. So stand back, look at the bigger picture because there could be a wonderful opportunity just waiting for you. How can you help yourself? We've got the page of pencils. So we've got the king and the page. Now the pages are messengers. They all bring a message. They all have an envelope on the card. And the page of pencils brings in clarity and new information. Now the page of pencils isn't the most tactful individual. So sometimes this might come out in a little bit of a direct way or you might hear something through somebody else. That doesn't matter. It's the information that's important, the message that is important. And this could very well bring the clarity that you've been waiting for. Pulling it all together, we've got the page of teacups, another page. Now, this message here is lovely. Again, they have an envelope on the card and this page says she brings in information and says, listen to your intuition. It's right on track. The page of teacups also brings in lovely messages of appreciation, of thanks, of love and very often of help and support. And it's lovely that it's fallen next to the king of pencils. This help and support could very well be somebody who is helping you work out some complex paperwork. So this can come in the form from the page of teacups, not just in a message of appreciation, but it can also be help and support as well. The outcome is lovely. The nine of pencils. This card says stay positive, focus on your strengths and focus on what could go right. Very often we program to do just the opposite. So let's take a few more cards this time from the Time to Shine Oracle. Just get a little bit more clarity for you, a little bit more information. I'll put all the cards out and then we'll have a talk about them. These are looking lovely. Fabulous. Right. So alongside this seven of wands being assertive card, we've got the two of emotion. Now, this is all about conversations and discussions. It's about talking things over. And the important thing about this card is 
asking you to be absolutely clear in your conversation with other people. So listening as well as speaking and making sure that you both clearly understand one another. Your help or hurdle, the nine of action says keep going, focus on self-belief. This says yes you can, keep going, be persistent, be determined. What do you need to focus on? Here we have this four of teacups, you looking at the bigger picture because there could be a new opportunity waiting for you. This is the magician card from traditional tarot card number one. And this says it's time for you to shine your light. You have all you need. You are ready. You can do it. So if you were just beginning to wonder, the magician comes in with a lovely arm on the shoulder saying, yes, you can. And you are ready. How can you help yourself? The Ten of Life is lovely, one of the happiest cards in the whole deck. This is about family time, home life, work life. This is you really enjoying spending time with loved ones, appreciating the little things which we know are the really important things. It's also financial security and peace of mind. Pulling it all together, the two of thought, along with this page of teacups, says it's time for you to make a choice. Trust that you already know what to do. Now, I was talking about trusting your intuition here, and here it is again. Now, the two of thought is asking you to make a positive choice. She's a little bit stuck because she's in not necessarily indecisive, she's undecided. And making a positive choice, getting all the information that she needs, doing the homework, then making a choice is the thing that is very likely to get you moving in your new direction. And when you do that, the final outcome card is lovely. The six of life, time to enjoy gifts of abundance, new career opportunities, it could be a new job, it could be a new home, it could be a new career, a new area of study, and here they are being delivered to your front door. So looking at the reading as a whole, being assertive, and that means saying no thank you to some things, or this will work better for me, for other things. Be crystal clear in your communication with other people. Keep going. Take professional advice if you need to. Get somebody to look over the small print. If you're not sure, ask somebody to help you with that. Focus on the bigger picture. Focus on what could go right. The magician card here comes in and says, you are ready. You have everything you need. So listen to the messages, talk things over, take advice, be absolutely crystal clear on what you would like. The clarity and the new ideas is coming in for you. So take notice of those. Be assertive when you need to be. Keep going and be ready to make a positive choice. Make your decision. Because the 10 of life is here, which is happy home life, happy work life happy family life and the six of life here is about these lovely things that you've been hoping for, dreaming of and working towards absolutely coming into view. Take notice of this new opportunity. It might not be in the direction that you're looking at now. You might be changing uh, direction, looking at things not only in a different way, but looking at things from somewhere new. This new opportunity might not be necessarily from the place that you were looking at. And the magician comes in and said, look at that. You are ready. Yes, you can. So when this lovely new opportunity comes, it might be something that you haven't considered already. And this card says, have a look at it. Do your homework. Get more information. Look a bit closer. Look a little bit closer. Take advice on it because it might be the very thing 
it might be just the thing that you've been looking for. So I hope that's helpful. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you again for liking and subscribing. It really does support my channel and I am truly grateful for that. So have a lovely week. Look after yourselves and I'll see you here again soon.